Thabo owns exactly 140 books. Owns 140 books, and each book is either paperback fiction, paperback nonfiction, or hardcover fiction. So that 140 comes from three different kinds of books. It comes from paperback fiction, and paperback nonfiction, and hardcover nonfiction. So from our first sentence, we can get a single, vari a single equation with three variables. And that means if we can just get two more equations, we'll be able to solve for whatever variable we want. So let's keep looking. If he owns 20 more paperback nonfiction books than hardcover nonfiction books. So we've got a relationship between paperback nonfiction and hardcover nonfiction. We're told that, told that there are 20 more of the paperback nonfiction than of the hardcover nonfiction. So if we're going to turn this into an equation, we've got to add 20 somewhere. There's 20 more. Uh, so, so where do we add that 20? Let's think about it. We're told there are 20 more of these, 20 more of the PNs than the HNs. So which variable is filling in for the bigger number? This one, right? It's 20 more of these than these. So this is the bigger number. This is the little guy. So if we're going to make these two sides equal, we're going to have to add that 20 to the little guy. So there's our second equation. Uh, let's see if we can find another. And, uh, Thabo has, twice as many paperback fiction books as paperback nonfiction books. Twice as many paperback fiction books as paperback nonfiction books. So, twice as many. We're going to be multiplying one of these by two, but which one? Well, we're told that PF, there are twice as many PFs as PNs. So, which one of these two guys is the bigger number? Well, this one, right? Twice as many of these as these. So who needs to catch up? This guy needs to catch up, right? So that's the one we're going to multiply by 2. And now both sides of this equation are equal. And the good news is we've now got our three distinct equations. And there are only three variables in the whole, uh, in the whole lot. So we have everything that we need to solve. So let's think about what, what the most efficient way to... Uh, uh, to find what we're looking for is. And what, what are we looking for? Well, the question asks, how many hardcover nonfiction books does Thabo have? So hardcover nonfiction is uh, the variable we're looking for. Hardcover nonfiction is the variable we're looking for. So we've got to, if we're using substitution, I guess we want to find some way to get rid of these other two variables. So which one should we get rid of first? Well, this is a this will be a useful equation because it is relating the variable that I want with another variable, and that'll be especially useful if if, if I've got one equation here with h n and p n. Be really useful if I could get this equation down to just h n and p n. So really, the one I really want to get rid of is p f. So can is there a way to get rid of my p f in this uh, big top equation? Sure, right? I know that PF equals I know that PF equals 2PN, so I can just I can just substitute 2PN into this into this top equation for my PF. So now PF is now 2PN, which is nice because now this this big uh, uh, original equation is down to just two variables. Now it's just 2PN plus PN plus HN and actually Let's just simplify this a little bit. Um, uh, we can we can combine like terms, right? Two pn plus pn is three paperback nonfiction plus this guy's still there plus hardcover nonfiction, and that equals 140. And this is really good news because now this equation just has pn hn, and this other equation which we haven't used yet just has hn and pn. And again, our goal was to get down to just HNs, so let's try to get rid of this PN. And we, we already have this, this PN isolated. We know that PN equals HN plus 20, so we can take our HN plus 20 and substitute it in for this PN. So our first term is now 3 times 
well, not PN, but uh, uh, another way to say PN, uh, 3 times HN plus 20. So we now have a single equation with a single variable, and uh, uh, I'll get rid of that, uh, a single equation with a single variable, and as I rewrite it, I guess I'll, I'll get rid of these parentheses. I'll distribute my 3 into each of the terms there. So this equation becomes 3 times, 3 times the first term, 3 times hn plus 3 times my second term, 3 times 20 is 60. That takes care of my first term, and I've still got my hn here, so plus hn equals 140. I can combine these guys. 3hn plus another hn is 4hn. Plus 60 equals 140. And now I can take my 60 away from both sides to get 4hn equals 140 minus 60 is 80. And now all I have to do is divide both sides by 4 to get hn, hardcover nonfiction equals 80 divided by 4 or 20. And that's what we're looking for, right? The question's asking how many hardcover nonfiction books does Thabo have? And, and I guess that's why we did the algebra the way that we did, so we'd be left with just our HN. Uh, so he has 20 hardcover nonfiction books, and that is answer choice 